And now we're here. We didn't get here. Welcome back to Los Coast Ranch. Today is moving day. That's right. We are finally going to make the new shop something better than an overglorified storage unit. Let's not waste any time and get going. Hey, look. More stuff. Mostly two interiors for a G4. But of course, I'm here for that. Perfect thing to use on gravel. Now that is a story for another day. Typical dumb Joe things. Decided to go ahead and update the finish on the benches and this little stand here. getting too late for me. Helps if you put the latch in the right way. Then it'll actually latch. Much better. All right, so we have a few things that need to fit in this small space, and I'm gonna move them in one by one because that's all I can handle. But not everything is here at the ranch, so we gotta do some measuring. You can haul anything in a Land Rover. Plenty of clearance to get the little mill in there. Now we just need to figure out how to get it out of there. Got the little lift table here. We could snag it with the skid steer. We're gonna try the muscle way first. See if I can hurt myself. Sasha's of no help. We're close, but still a little shy. See if we can uh, help that some. A little closer, still not there yet. Now we're getting somewhere. Kind of feeling a little bit like a Rube Goldberg project. We'll see if I can blow my back out. Doesn't seem sketchy at all. where the little mill will go. Welding table here. Yeah, we'll do that. Once again, this is probably a two person job. We'll make it happen though. Carefully. And now we're here. We didn't get here. Ready for the drop? That wasn't too bad.
I just love when you hop in the skid steer and there is a ton of bees. Took care of that. Now this is where we stand. A little bit of a cluster going on, but I dropped it onto some wood so we didn't mess the concrete up. Now I just need to figure out how to get it back there. Well, that is a precarious position. I have the wheel stuck inside the jack. Um, I would use the bottle jack and lift it up like this side, but I built this thing about 12 years ago and those are like $3 Harbor Freight jacks. So as you can imagine, they don't work. Well, one works. The other one gave up the ghost. So I have one little project left to do in the small garage before we move the TIG down. So we set up our little mobile fabrication station, TIG, weld table, porta band. Well equipped for the job. You can kind of see it a little bit yet, but our friends up north, the Canadians, are taking some of their wildfire smoke back and it is somewhat healthy to be back outside again. Couldn't even run this week. The breathing air wasn't too great around here. We should change the tone just a touch. Since we have all the proper tools up in the little garage now, we're going to do some sophisticated lining up of the tips. That should do right there. position with the TIG is definitely the squeeze the pedal with the nuts. Well now that that's wrapped up we can run the TIG down to the shop. I'm afraid a lot of the working in this area now done for. I think it's a touch humid in here. We'll get the door shut. Let that guy rock out. So smart me forgot to turn the camera on, but with the help of Ted, got a couple other things moved in here, including a refrigerator. We are getting pretty high tech and loaded up in here. Set the benches over against that wall for now. And I rolled the carts down from the little garage. Didn't even hurt myself. All right, take note of those lights. They are on up there. We have another major milestone in the Lost Cause shop. Lights are on. Extension cord. The one that's been run along the driveway the entire time we've been building the shop to power everything down here is not plugged in, but the lights are on. That is right. We have power, ladies and gentlemen. We'll be able to use the fridge. So after moving day, more like week, we have the start of our little fab area set up. We got the MIGs down here. We'll bring the TIG down. Now that the muffler delete is done, got our little mill moved in with the help of the LR4. Drill press. In addition to the mill, we have our lathe. We just chuck stuff right up in that. 
No, I'm just kidding. Lathe will be moved from Ted's and that will go right next to the drill press. It's on a rolling cart. And that will also be our storage for our welding supplies and all the tooling for that stuff. Got the little bandsaw in place and we have the brake moved in. Also snagged the mount for the pressure washer. That's gonna go in that vicinity. Down below, right next to the Nada, we started moving in the next resident at the Lost Cause Ranch. Bet you can't guess what it is. We've had that thing for 12 years now. Bit of a lost cause. It's time to fix that. We got a few more things to move in here, but everything is rocking and rolling. But thanks for following along today as we moved in some of the stuff that's gonna make the new shop useful. Appreciate you guys watching, appreciate you subscribing, and we will catch you on the next one. We got a little bit of a mixed bag of tricks today. My favorite little Honda Ruckus. Doesn't start. So we got a couple valve shims to do. So we're going to have to replace that guy there. So we're just going to move that out of the way, pull it up, lock it, get the gravity stick, pull it up. So what's going on here is these get out of adjustment and the valve stays open. So not enough compression until it warms up to go bang, bang. So we put a little thinner shim in and we're back to being happy. 